What is up, guys? I'm getting ready to edit a video together of me doing a repair on a airflow sensor controller that blew up out in the field. <laughs> so I ordered some parts on DigiKey and put the uh, new IC chips on the board, and it seemed to fix it. So, But I didn't have any video of the unit or the controller before I took it apart. So uh, just for a background of what's going on, this is an airflow controller. It has these four ports on the bottom that you plug in to these four sensors. The four sensors are plugged into the, hooked up to this big return air blower. Two on each side, two right there, and then these two on the other side. I took the four old ones off and put four new ones on because that was the new kit that I was given with this controller. And basically the background on this unit is a year ago or so when the unit was installed, I guess the controller didn't work, and they said, oh, it was shorted, and it, they forgot about it. So I'm out there at service to go put in a new one as warranty or whatever. And uh, so I put this board in. It has the four sensor probes plugged in right here as an output. It just goes over the EMS. I didn't even have that part hooked up yet. I just put this new controller in, the four new sensors, hooked up the two wires to the 24 volts in, as it says right here. Flip this switch on up here. Smoke just comes right out of the bottom of the circuit board. I'm like, flip the switch off. What the hell? Double check my 24 volts. It's fine. I could find nothing wrong with why that happened. The only thing I'm thinking is that it uh, with one side of the transformer grounded, um, maybe if you... You need to, they call this L1 and L2. Maybe it, you need to put the hot on the L1 and the grounded one on L2. I don't know. When I put it back, I'm not going to take any chances using the transformer they used, which had other circuits tied to it and did ground one in. I'm going to use an isolated transformer when I put this back in there. So obviously the first controller they put in blew up for the same reason. Some sort of ground loop or something in it and it coming back in and fry those chips down. This is the controller when I took it apart to check it out. And as you can see right here, they let the smoke out of this chip and this chip here. These four chips right here are all the same. They're voltage regulators. And then this one was some sort of uh, eight to one multiplexer IC, they called it. So something down in here had some weird ground loop problem or something because there was nothing wrong with the voltage going into this thing. But it popped those two suckers. Luckily, uh, there is another identical controller on the unit next to this one, and I was able to take it apart and get the part number off of this that blew up. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what it was because it smoked it. So, yeah, you can't get the numbers off of that. It smoked. This one's the same as these. That was no problem. But I got a shot of the other unit, which was not blown up, and was able to get the number. And it was like a DG408DY, which was like that 8 to 1 multiplexer whatever they're doing with that thing. So there's the new one. Now I will continue to uh, show me solder net sucker in. Let's see if I can do this. And I lifted that pad. So I got one corner tacked down. There we go. Get it lined up and get another corner. So get it squared up here. I'm 
more in this magnifying glass thing a jigger. Just I have to get to a certain focal point for it to become clear. Propaganda on the TV and see what it is. to make sure there's no gap or anything. Looks like it's all thinned down. Well, what do you know? It is working. <laughs> this reading just laying on the floor. I wonder if I can mount these suckers over on my fan and see if I can measure some CFM. Shall we try it? That sounds like something awesome. Okay, are we ready to test this thing for real? This is what it looks like when it's installed and just has this Simple little flip-up cover to reach the power switch. <laughs> the sensors are hooked up to an oscillating fan. I just want to see what happens. See if it still works now that I put it all back together. Well, there were some small little pieces I soldered down in there. Okay, I think it'll go... So it's ticking down. Uh-oh, one of these might not be plugged in. Okay, it appears that the controller is fine. One of those probes is bad. Going more into the menu, you can actually look at all the sensor's inputs. So every input is good on here. And if I move the port over to four or four, so it's what this one bad port, and I see what happened to it. My zip tie in there grabbed the sensor and freaking broke it. So that's why um, the box was working and then when I hooked up the fan and turned it on again, uh, I had a fault. These sensors are not going to be used. So I have new ones already installed in the unit. So this is pretty cool. So I'm confident that this is working now. Sensor temp. Temperature sensor Z1. 72, 73, 73. That's probably not what it is in here. By the way, it's 73 degrees in this room and this house without the heater being on. Welcome to the Arizona desert. So now I'm back in the main menu and it's just going to oscillate saying that there's a trouble. It's just saying that there is a trouble. But actually this thing is reading on the three sensors just fine. Averaging 260 CFM or A CFM, whatever that means. Of course, it's I got it set for 20 inch fan and all that kind of stuff so that is awesome this is success I wish I could have uh, fixed this thing but right now just an update that's that Mitsubishi thing uh, interface controller but there's a transformer right here that's fried U833 and then the number on the bottom is 43x7 it's got that M logo on it. That thing I need to find. So, because the other parts, I believe that looking at the circuit, gotta hold the camera right, that uh, the power, AC power comes in through there, through there, through this transformer and carries it over to here. But, and it's probably a step down transformer, perhaps, from the 30 volts down to something a little lower. I don't know, and, uh, but uh, I, I cannot find that part for shit. And a lot of these parts in this Mitsubishi board, whoever makes it for Mitsubishi, um, they're weird. A lot of these parts uh, have weird numbers, I've had uh, weird brands, and I seem to figure out what that transistor was. You know, I would order one or something like it if I could. But uh, that freaking stupid transformer's kicking my ass. I have yet to find it uh, on DigiKey or anywhere, just doing searches. So I'm kind of screwed on that. <laughs> so, anyway, well, that'll be that. And then uh, there'll be an update here probably next week when I go install this into the unit. And it'll be awesome to see this uh, work again and not let the smoke out.